Hey, bro, thanks for jumping on and uh, telling us a bit about your fitness journey, your fitness experience. How, how, how are you going? Everything's going well, Mesh. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for this opportunity as well. Awesome. awesome. Can, can you tell us a little bit about you? Um, like who you are, where you're from, what you do? Yeah, for sure. So uh, my name is Yash. Um, I was born in South Africa, uh, moved to Australia uh, when I was a kid. Um, currently, I work um, as a delivery manager for a communications company. Um, and that involves a, a lot of sitting, a lot of computer work, a lot of desk work, a lot of sedentary lifestyles. But um, I'm enjoying it. So it's good. Oh, that's lovely. That's great. And um, what, what got you into, into fitness, into, into wanting to get, get into training and so on? Um, I guess it's just the, the benefits of being fit. We know that there are so many uh, great things that come from uh, prolonged health and well-being. Uh, so for me, it's always been um, something that's been front of mind, uh, but a goal that I haven't really been able to to reach uh, for quite some time. Um, I played sports a lot. Um, I used to play in school uh, and growing up, uh, just pretty much having to go at every single thing, all activity levels. Um, and I enjoyed it. Um, it's like an escape at times, uh, just socialize with friends or whether it's competitive. Um, either way, uh, it's just fun regardless. And um, fitness has always been the forefront. Um, of the things that I was doing all throughout my schooling life um, and it's something that I just want to continue on as I get older um, and, and go on to the next phase of my life. That's awesome. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely as a kid running around with all the energy and, you know, feeling fit, energetic and, uh, you know, regaining that uh, after Absolutely. after sitting for so many hours. <laughs> um, have, have, you, have you experienced um, any challenges along the way? Like since... Uh, since like growing up, since sitting most of the day and, and so on? Yeah, I think uh, once you get into like a, a full-time work, that, time, that tends to, to be the routine, uh, the nine to five grind. We've all heard it before. Uh, weekend work just generally is things that you want to do around the house or, or just catch up on errands that you need to run. Um, and fitness and, and being active uh, kind of takes a backseat. Um, as you get older, I think that's the same with a lot of people as well. I know uh, that's exactly what it was for me and is for me at times. Um, so just finding that time uh, to go into a gym or um, being able to know what to do and, and to be most efficient in the workout that you are doing has been a challenge. Sometimes you can go to a gym, maybe spend a couple of hours, but you don't really know whether you've done what you needed to do um, and see the benefits of it down the track. So um, I guess having a program and things together and, and having goals that you pretty much want to attest to is, is something that um that will help the situation but those are the challenges essentially that come from this transition from a schooling life to, to full-time work yes yes yeah oh we've experienced as many stresses as we grow up and we come we get older we have more responsibilities and uh yes yeah, something's tend to slide but uh it's it's great that you've you know you've got on track you take care of your health you know we can't do much without our health you know so um yeah yeah you know, um I, I heard like years ago it is it's important to take care of your health wealth and relationships so try and have a balance across those and um yeah so it's it's good that you you're making progress here um you. can you tell us a bit about what what you've been wanting to accomplish and and why for me it's always been about um losing weight and um being fit um i guess that's a very broad way of um, talking about things and that's just a general goal for everyone um but the why behind it is really, as I mentioned earlier, prolonging the health and well-being. Uh, we can be fit straight away or we can have a, a goal in mind and we can get to a goal weight that we needed to and through crash dieting or through extreme situations. But then as things get on, you kind of maybe tend to put that weight on. Um, additional responsibilities, as you mentioned, come into play. Um, so for me, the real reason why was to educate myself on fitness, something that I can pick up if uh, I drop the ball at any point in time, something that I can just go back to because I'm knowledgeable in that area now. Um, and just knowing that whatever life throws at me, that I can find the time to get that workout and get that walk, that run, that's that weightlifting session, whatever it may be, um, that I can do that at any point in time. Awesome. Yes, yes. Cool. And uh, can you tell us a bit about, you know, how we met and how things, how things kicked off? Um, yeah, definitely. So you know, um, <laughs> yeah. we have, yeah, yeah, exactly. We've known each other for quite some time through friends and things like that. So, um, Mish, I've known you have always been a fit dude. <laughs> when I first met <laughs> you, you were, you were pretty fit. 
I'm not going to lie. And um, I know that you were always uh, passionate and uh, always uh, looking out for others as well. And I guess when you started your own business, um, that's when I really took an interest in it. Um, because as I said, you've always been that guy that, well, since I've known you, you've been that guy. Um, and just looking at what you're able to provide uh, to people um, on a different level, instead of having just an in the gym PT, uh, your model is is very different. It, it caters to everyone who, whether it be an interstate person or whether it be someone who can't get to the gym or uh, simply the fact they may be not be able to afford a gym membership, um, but they might have little things around the house that uh, they may be able to use as their workout program. So um, having that, uh, that model that you have with your business and being able to mold and shape to a uh, rigorous routine or work routine or anything like that um, is what really uh, drew me into it. Um, and being able to to talk like this in our meetings and things that we do and just to to have checkpoints essentially um, is something that uh, that is really good. Cool, that's great. Yes, yeah, it's it's it's, it's been a journey, and um, yeah, there's this. I found I've worked in the gym as well. You know, I've done PT sessions and and so on, uh, and it was it was quite an experience. Uh, I I didn't think much of personal training beforehand, but when I got into it, it was. It was a learning experience and uh, I found some people do need it, uh, you know, initially just to get going. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of a, some people kind of need someone to hold their hand, but I found it, it becomes a very dependent situation when, when you got a personal trainer and it's, it, it turns into more of like a fitness buddy, someone that holds your hand. Uh, whereas I've always been about how, how can I make us into something that's, that allows a person to be more independent that allows them to to learn as well as go through the experience and um and have time to reflect as you mentioned the checkpoints you know look at the, the whole overall big picture you know and look at our not just our activity but our nutrition our sleep uh look at our mindset our recovery you know the all those all those factors matter and uh learning and finding balance and finding ways to progress with those makes a big difference and um you've, you've done exceptionally well at these as well so uh we have check, checkpoints and also you know, the progress you've made uh, even prior um back in uh, 2020 you did um you know you dropped five kgs seven centimeters off uh and you know this of, this of bells line and everything and and you felt the energy for it i I remember you said it was so much easier to move and you're able to fit into your suit and uh you know all all these things these these are great 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 things to be celebrated to to acknowledge you know absolutely and um and now now you're back into it and back with awesome consistency and we've got we've got measures not just for activity but also for nutrition and also we're looking at your sleep and you're looking at your overall factors as well you know it's stress levels matter you know uh, things pop up um sleep so sleep is is quite a important factor as as we've we've discussed as well you know um and uh yeah it's 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 been amazing to see see your progression your journey and uh, your consistency it's been phenomenal yeah thanks so, Mish. that's awesome yeah um appreciate that Cool, cool. Oh, can you tell us a bit about, um, like, from from your perspective, your our experience working together? Like, um, what what are the actions that you took? Uh, you know, what kind of things did you learn along the way? And um, yeah, cool. I think the the first thing that comes to mind and the most important thing has been nutrition. Um, that's always been a challenge. Uh, you look at all these different types of diets. You look at keto diet, intermittent fasting, and people think that, oh, when you want to be fit, that you got to go into this extreme diet situation that you only can eat salads, maybe. You can only eat steamed veg and things like that. And I think the approach that you have to nutrition is one that I've learned uh, a great deal from. Um, and now I can say that I shop smarter when I go to supermarkets. So I'm able to have a look at the nutritional labels at the back of it. I'm able to track uh, what I eat and fit that into the macros for the day. And that's another thing we learned. And I went, we went into great detail uh, with the macros. So being able just to take all that knowledge from a nutritional perspective and apply that in steps by steps, uh, which is what you helped with, uh, really solidifies and, and um, takes into account the goal that, you, that I want to meet and how I'm going to get there. Um, so that's a, that's a big one. Nutrition has, yeah, it's, it's a huge, uh, a huge learning thing for me. So I appreciate that as well. Uh, from a workout perspective, tracking all the workouts, you providing a program, um, a, a set and targeted approach in that particular program. It's not just about lifting the heaviest weights. Uh, 
Um, it's not about doing the most reps. It's about being efficient and effective in the workouts in the time frame that doesn't take up two hours in the gym. It might only, it's a 45 minute session or whatever the case may be. Um, but really learning and looking at technique when it comes to those sessions. Um, you do feel it afterwards. I know I do. Uh, I might not lift the heaviest weights, but um, the next two days is just, I can't really walk much maybe, or <laughs> my arms are really sore or something like that. So just a, a different way, to, a different way to look at workout sessions uh, is another huge factor, something that I've learned heaps of. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you've, you've, you've learned a lot. Uh, yeah. Geez. Uh, in, in terms of like, yeah, those diets, those crash diets um, really, really mess people up. Uh, going into crash diets, they go all in, they get frustrated, they don't learn much, they might get a result, but then they go back to the old ways. And, um, you know, whereas with our approach, it's, it's more flexible. Uh, we've brought in, you know, nutrition tracking and stuff uh, and certain elements that, that we able to, like nutrition targets and so on, that allow us the flexibility to enjoy the foods we you know, we like as well. And that, that's an important thing. You know, uh, we have different cultural backgrounds. We have different preferences, um, also restrictions and, and kind of dietary requirements. So, you know, allowing the flexibility to incorporate all of that as well as, you know, enjoy it uh, is, is how we get to learn. And um, yeah, it Absolutely. makes a big difference. And I think that's the key that you just mentioned, the enjoyable part. Sometimes you can do something and it feel a burden or you feel like you got to hit these targets or whatever it is, but you're not really there. Um, it, I felt none of that. Um, I enjoyed it. Having a, a flexible approach to nutrition, as you mentioned, is something that's easier. Um, it's uh, It becomes a habit down the track once you do it consistently. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's an enjoyable thing. Yes, yes. Awesome. And and you've, you've, you've captured these as well. You've, uh, you've got recipes, you've got lists, you've got, you've got a document of how you progressing you, you're getting results as well as you're documenting it and you're celebrating it so that just reinforces um the learnings as well as you know when you you get your full transformation you'll you'll know how you got there and if ever, if ever you you go off in in another tangent or you, something happens you can always go back to to the method you work that worked well for you you know um, exactly right and also you, you you mentioned with the with the activity how it's it's not, um, you know, it's not how much you lift and you know how long and all that. Yeah, it's it's very much true. It's it's, it's how well how effective you are in uh, with your training. You know how well well you're doing it, and um, yeah, it doesn't have to be excessive. And th there's rest days, there's there's uh this flexibility around that. And it's, yeah, it's um exactly. Yeah, it's uh yeah, a lot of people just go all in, burn themselves up, really push push for it, and they do it every single day or they do the same thing every day. And mm -hmm. uh, that actually work, works backwards because they don't have enough time to recover. They overdo it and it gets boring. <laughs> it gets boring, it gets frustrating and the body breaks down. So, um, you know, we've, we've got a very well structured program, even if I say so myself, I've, I've been doing it for years, but um, I've, I've put in all the, all the specific elements and sequence things in a way that's, that allow us to have enough recovery, that's allow enough variety, um, that's, that work all the muscle groups in a balanced way and um, not just building, but also improving our performance or energy levels and also working on our flexibility, which is quite a key factor considering we sit down for most of the day. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm back to sitting at a desk as well and uh, you're not, not having as much movement and lifting and move and, you know, running and stuff that creates more tension in our body, it makes us very stiff. So incorporating stretching uh, makes makes a huge huge difference uh, in terms of you know uh, relieving tension and feeling more youthful and energetic again overall. Yeah, definitely true. Yeah, 100%. and uh, as we progress, you 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 started off in proactive. You've, you're in the progressive phase and you're kicking ass there. Uh, as we progress, we'll get into uh, some some form of deep stretching, uh, gravity yoga, and it's. It's, uh, it's very effective at regaining our flexibility. As, as a kid, if you remember the younger days, we, we were much more flexible. We were much more uh, mobile and we felt very youthful. And, uh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. and, and that can be regained. You know, we can get that back. Uh, we, we don't want to end up getting older where we hunched over and, you know, really tightened, tightened stuff. We want to be more more open, more flexible, and being able to move, you know, as we, as we mature as well, you know, we, we're not as young as we were, but uh, we can, we can get that, regain that flexibility, that energy, that's that strength and stamina and everything. 
yeah so it's yeah, awesome definitely um cool uh with, with regard to like the coaching experience the stuff with uh the the support the accountability uh the systems we have in place uh how has that um how does how has that worked or not worked or how have you, how is that for you i think uh, it's uh, it's worked it's worked well um straight off the bat um in a in a different way as i said being a a remote type of personal trainer sometimes people can't get taken back by it because they're not used to it. Uh, but I think the way that you set up the program, as I mentioned earlier, is something that you can just mold um, and, and really shape uh, to a routine. So um, the experience thus far has been great going on the app um, that you have that's available on the on pretty much all mobile device platforms, as well as the watch, I think is really cool. Um, and being able to track what you do and then have a look back. Some people might have a diary or, or a book of some sort and it might go in the notes. Uh, but using the watch, well, I do anyway, and just scrolling through the reps that I've done or maybe the weights that I've done, and I can modify that on the phone when I'm going back and, and doing any changes or whatever the case may be. Um, it just makes it easier. Again, it's that efficiency piece um, when it comes to working out. So that's that's been an awesome experience um, that I've yeah, been able to have. Um, as you said, working through the different phases, uh, not doing too much too early, just getting the steps in, getting... Uh, your flexibility and range of motion, analyzing yourself and where you can be and where you are right now, and then getting to where we are today and being able to reflect on what we have done yeah. um, and seeing those changes, being able to lift better, being able to, to stretch better and have more flexibility in those movements, especially with warm-ups um, and things like that. So I think uh, every workout has really its own purpose. Every session that we have has its own purpose. Um, and yeah, so far we've accept, we've celebrated successes. As you mentioned, we've diarized what well, we've uh, eaten and we've got these things to go back to. Um, PBs on the app that come up when you lift maybe higher weights or you do higher reps, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, just taking those measurements and being able to see the previous weeks. Um, little success, uh, yeah, little, little joy. You're like, oh yeah, one centimeter off here, maybe half a centimeter off there, maybe two kilos down here. So all those things compounded into the bigger picture. So the experience has been great. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. That's uh, that's that's key. You know, um, starting out, it's 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 kind of a lack of awareness of, of those things. You know, I, I remember I got a shape of over, uh, over COVID. I had um, I was doing some studies and and a uh, bit stressed out. Uh, let my health slide quite a bit, and um, yeah, it's it's came down to a lack of awareness. You know, I I didn't really look in the mirror as much. I didn't uh, didn't weigh myself. I didn't have any any form of measurement and awareness. And I was uh, I was on the other stuff. And you know, one day I, I got a shock in in the in the in the mirror. And I looked I looked in the elevator after a swim. And I was like, what the hell happened here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, those uh, yeah. From that point, uh, you know, I I even got a coach as well. You know, for for accountability, for support. Um, someone to check in. Uh, the, the first one I got, he looked good, but he, he didn't give me, didn't provide me the the, the support and services that, that I wanted. It's got a PDF and nothing. But um, the second one, he he helped me with nutrition, and uh, we had regular check ins. We had coaching calls, uh, you know, and we had we had a discussion about all the different elements of of, of training and life as well. So um, th that was that was really helpful, and um, making sure we have measurements along the way, and, and we can see. Um, so some weeks there won't be much change; there will there'll be fluctuations and so on. But it's it's an opportunity to go. Ah, okay, that's uh, you know, when we do it, we think of our goal, we think of why we're doing it, and that reminds us, and then we we have momentum to keep going, and that awareness is there. Exactly. So hence why we have those Definitely. weekly weekly measurements and check-ins and um and yeah we can have a discussion as we go uh of course week by week there's not you won't see much change but you look over from a month to month and you'll you'll mm -hmm. start some changes uh especially as you go through a full 12 weeks you'll see from the start to finish you'll be like what the wow <laughs> you know and it's 100%, yeah, exactly yeah it's it's amazing and uh and throughout the process you, you're forming a very solid base as well so you you like raising up your standard, you know, and you, with the consistency, it's becoming it's become, a habit. It's becoming a way of life, a lifestyle, and uh, that's that's the key of of basically everything I do. Is uh, I want guys to get the results and keep it. Uh, it's it's as a coach, you you see all these quick fixes, it's, these things that pop up, and they go, oh, you can get this result and get that result, but th they don't last, you know, and they often leave people 
feeling, uh, you know, feeling worse off when when they're done with it and uh, and not as knowledgeable or happy with what with, with what they get. So um, yeah, lasting results, lasting changes, and enjoying the process, learning it's it, it's really key. Yeah, and and you've been well on track and consistent. You know, uh, even even though we, even when we had that break, you were still doing workouts. You know, and you're still working on yourself. And uh, and now that we're back into it, you know, we've got even bigger goals and uh, and you, you're well on track with all of them and consistent and kicking ass, which is awesome. And <laughs> Thank you. yeah, l- really looking forward to the, to the transformation going forward. You, you know, I think you've absolutely, yeah, you're, you're well on track with these things. Um, tell yeah. me, tell me a bit about like, what's, what's life like for you right now? Uh, so right now uh, we've just built our own house. So uh, we've got that stage of our life to, to now tackle and, um, with work and things like that, as you said, with COVID, you, who knows what's going to happen uh, in the next short term or even long term? It doesn't. Um, you don't really. You don't really know, and uh, you just got to have that flexibility and approach uh, to everything that we do. And that's pretty much what I am right now. So with my work, um, I'm between the office um, and at home. Sometimes I'm just at home, depending on the situation, um, and just other little things with other family and friends and stuff that might be going on as well. Um, so I'm just kind of just taking it day by day. I don't have anything set uh, in stone right now in terms of what's happening or, or, or anything that's, you know, in the, the near future or anything like that. Kind of just going through this particular process and um, just enjoying the time that I have with friends and family that I can. Um, and then, yeah, fitness definitely is on in the forefront as well. And just enjoying that, that piece of it. So that's kind of where things are at right now. Yes, yes, that's great. Uh, and in regards to like your transformation so far, like what, what have you experienced and how, how has it uh, like kind of helped out in different areas of life for you? Um, so for me, we, my wife and I go for walks quite regularly and we'll go for hikes um, in different areas quite regularly. And uh, when I started off, uh, when we first started off in, in 20, I think it was late 2019 into 2020 and, and then picked up again, um, definitely noticed that I wasn't able to, uh, go as far uh, or as hard on these hikes. Sometimes these hikes can be quite challenging or walks and things like that. Um, but one thing that I've noticed is that fitness levels has increased. The, the stamina has increased. The endurance has increased. So I'm able to go uh, quite long on these walks or even hills and stuff that aren't too, too crazy and not really puffed out as much as what I was. Um, so that, I think that's a massive win because we enjoy that type of stuff. Being in the outdoors is really, really cool um, and doing little things there. Uh, but the one thing I did want to say was um, it always goes two ways. It's a two-way street. You as a coach um, and we as as the client or as the train, trainee, so to speak, um, we have to put in the work as well. It's not just going to come um, in, in by you. It's, it's got to be by us as well. And what I really have liked is the uh, approachability that you have, uh, being available whenever we need it, having messages on the app at any point in time, shooting through videos of certain exercises that you not, might not be aware of the movements and then you responding and showing the correct movements or having a call. Um, having those little celebrations when you do the workouts throughout the week, it's not just, oh, how you go and here's your weekly stuff or your, your fortnightly stuff and off you go. There's regular check-ins, um, little bits. And that doesn't have to be a face-to-face call, just a little thumbs up or, or uh, congratulations or, or things like that. And those little bits and pieces of information, again, do go a long way, just like doing small exercises and building up. Um, it just reinforces the reason you're doing what you're doing. Um, and you think back as well to yourself as to the reason why. Um, and I do like the fact that you ask the question why all the time. It's just a continuous reminder of why we're doing the things that we're doing. Why is this a journey and, and how we're going to get there and things like that. So, yeah, I just wanted to, to kind of slide that in there a little bit. But, um, yeah, the transformation has been great. As you talked about earlier, suit fitting. I have a suit that's my benchmark suit. It's my wedding suit. So every time that suit gets a bit tight, um, that's just not right. So, um, you know, we kind of have to lose the weight or, or whatever the case may be. And if I get into that suit, happy days. It's all good. Um, I am now, so I'm still at that stage, which is great. Um, but yeah, bigger goals along the horizon. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. That's that's yeah, that's awesome to you. Yeah, that's you've you've done exceptionally well. And and yeah, uh, I, it's glad that you noticed um, you noticed those little check ins and you know support processes along the way. Uh, I've dedicated a lot of time to to building those out and making sure you have all the support and guidance drops. And um, that you have that accountability and yeah, the reachability, you know, you know, anytime you can send through a message, a video, and I've got full view of, of how you're going 
um, you know, with activity and nutrition, your sleep, your steps. And we have those checkpoints where we look at not just what happened in that day, but overall, you know, for the week, for the month. And, um, you know, seeing the big picture, stepping back and then looking at your bigger goals, your, your why behind those, you know, and having that, that drive behind, behind us is, is what really keeps us going. And um, Absolutely. yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's key. And, uh, you know, as, as we make those, those advances, those, those moves forward, uh, we start to, you know, build ourselves up and we start to aim higher and uh, reaffirm our beliefs and our, our readiness and our ability. And uh, yeah, you become, you transform, not just physically, but also, you know, mentally. And, uh, you know, you can achieve things that, that you never thought, thought were possible. And um, yeah, we, we're well on track with that. And uh, yeah, as, as we go progressive into peak, uh, peak's gonna be a lot more on, on mindsets, you know, getting more clarity on, on you and your, your personal drive and ambitions and uh, how it all fits together is, is key. And um, it's, it's more for the, for the long term to be able to get it and, and sustain it, it becomes a part of who you are. Yeah, so discovering in terms of your fitness, like what, what, what is, how does it look? How do you feel? How do you perform? You know, and um, you know, how, how are you gonna transform into that? And having that picture in mind that gives you direction. And uh, also, also refining on, on your why, you know, getting clear on your why because with the direction, you know where you're going, but the why is also, it's what drives you. So understanding those emotional drivers behind it uh, is, is gonna really help. And, um, and of course, we've got, we've got a plan and uh, it's measurable and uh, we're adjusting and moving along the way. So yeah, it's, it's, it's been, been a great journey. And um, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, you've, you've been awesome. And yeah, it, it, any, any other comments or any other suggestions, questions or anything else comes to mind? Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to what's ahead. I'm looking forward to that next phase when, when the time is right. Um, and deep diving on that, it's not just, as you said, about exercises and only exercises, it's about um, health uh, and well-being mentally as well. Um, so getting those things right and centering yourself in meditation and yoga and things like that that we'll look at. So I'm looking forward to that aspect because I haven't really touched on that in, in great detail. So, um, yeah, continuing on this journey. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. Cool, cool. Thank you, Yash. Thank you. It's been it's been awesome chatting and, and learning about your experience. I'm sure this is going to you know resonate with many people. Um, you know, We've, we've all had a journey. We all, all had to start from nothing. You know, I've, I've, <laughs> you guys are freaking fortunate. You know, I did 10 years of trial and error uh, and I made just about every mistake you guys, you guys made. <laughs> and uh, it was painful, you know, and, and it took a lot of time to, to reverse that. And uh, I've had coaches and mentors along the way that helped me. And it's, it just accelerates the progress, you know, it, it Definitely. compresses time, yeah, you know, and mm. Uh, as as guys, I see guys, they're just watching YouTube videos, doing a bit of this, a bit of that, and it's wasting time. And it's, uh, you know, it doesn't get you very far versus someone like you is smart who actually decided to invest in your health and fitness and, you know, take action, be committed, you know, and and work with that support and, you know, get the results you want, you know, for, for the long term is, you know, that's that's very, you know, something to be very proud of, you know, uh, and Thanks, it, it, it's, it's what's look at look at the, the athletes actors models you know they all have trainers they have all have coaches why because it works it, there's structure there's there's uh learning there's yeah you can do it in less time basically so it's it's there it's ready for you and um yeah i'm i'm here you know whenever you need and um I'm, yeah we're ready to make 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 it happen yeah <laughs> for sure definitely yeah, for sure it's uh yeah it's, it's been a journey it's been awesome man and uh, looking forward to the future. Yeah. Me too. For sure. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, bro. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah. Let's do it. Thanks, Mish. Awesome. Okay.